Namaste again. Welcome to the Yoga with Gagan. I'm Gagan, and today we are gonna learn a bridge pose and also call the Setu Bandhasana. So, guys, this is a backward bending pose, and the benefits of the Setu Bandhasana. This pose is great for improve the strengthening of your thighs, improve the strength of your hips, your buttocks, and stimulate your digestive system, stimulate your thyroid gland. And it's also great pose for stretch your chest, your spine, hips flexor, thighs, and also your neck area. Or the most important, this pose is great for reduce the stress or anxiety. So guys, if you see this pose in anatomically, so when you perform this asana, so there are a lots of area are affected by this pose. Our chest area, neck, throat, our lungs, heart, abdominal, sternum, bladder liver and also its impact over pelvis part or abs and also abdominal so guys there are lots of benefits of this posture and the contraindication question of the Setu Bandhasan so always keep one thing in your mind those people who have the neck issue shoulders injury knees injury back pain so should be avoid this posture or if you have the cervical issue so do this pose little careful so guys let's see how to do that say Bandhasana with the step by step and we will do here in the two way of bridge pose say Bandhasana so this is the supine pose so first we'll lay down on your back knees straight and palms side of your body so first, bend your both the knees one by one. So guys, this pose is a, is a bridge pose, say to Bandhasan, because this time your body look like a bridge, like connecting your knees to abdominal area. Or it's, it's uh, also connecting to your body and mind, and also connecting to your individual soul to your supreme soul. Or also connecting with the others or your soul. So guys, from here, first palm side of your buttocks or you can put inside of your buttocks. So guys, always uh, remember here one thing. Whenever you do the bridge pose, so most of the people, what they do, they uh, hold the ankles and they try to bring the heels too much close to the buttocks. So guys, what happened? As I lift my chest or abdomen up, so you can see my knees will be go forward and then my pose is not in the correct pose so it is not the right way to go on so always make sure here uh, little gap between your heels or your buttons so uh, your knees to heels in a line so always make sure your knees to heels in one line and make sure don't move your knees ladder too much out or not too much inside so always your feet distance according to your hips and your palms side of your body and also here one more important point when you're lifting your chest or spine up so try to make using your squeezing your glutes muscles so if you perform this asana with squeezing your glutes muscles or your knees in your core so your core and chest will be active and those people who have the weak back pain, who, who have the weak back. So what happened when they lift their chest or spine up? So they feel strain, uh, lots of strain on the lower back. So always make sure when you're lifting your chest or body up, so try to with the squeezing your glutes muscles. So let's start first palm side of your buttocks. Then from your palms facing down, then inhale, slowly pressing your palms, your feet, and at the same time lift your chest and upper back, middle back, but exhale. And then roll the shoulders back, keep your neck in center position, don't move your neck left or right. Always should be neck center and look up. 
and try to engage your core muscles, squeezing your glutes muscles and feel the stretch on your quadriceps and also this best pose for stretch your hips flexor, your pelvis and first hold here around 7 to 10 breathe and take a normal breath here then after once you complete it then exhale slowly come back in the same way first release your upper back middle back lower back and buttocks on the ground so guys we will do here one more time and this time we will stretch the whole body parts so again palm side of your buttocks then take a breath in pressing your feet roll your shoulder back and then slowly lift your chest or spine up and squeeze it continues tightening your glutes muscles and if possible then hang with finger lock and rest on the ground if you are a super beginner person so you have one more option or if you can't hold there so you can set your palms under your lower back but make sure finger point out and thumb point inside if you are comfortable here so just place your palms on the ground and interlock your finger and one more important thing here when you when you lift your chest up so try to lift your chest diagonally not towards the chin or your head so always your move your chest diagonally like this and squeezing your glutes tighten your hips and interlock your finger i can stay there 10 times 10 count and focus on your breath breathing continue and enjoy this pose and look toward this thing Then guys, when you complete it, then exhale, open your hands, first place your palms on the ground, then same way, release your upper back, spine, buttocks on the ground. Then from here, slowly come back, turn your body towards the left, pressing your palms onto your mat, come to the seated position. So guys, if you do this pose in a gentle way or the regular way, so this pose will help you to improve the flexibility, improve the strength of your body. And also, those people who have the asthma problem, because it's increasing to your our lungs capacity. So it's also a great pose for those people who have the asthma problem. So I hope you are liking my video. So hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. So see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Namaste. How are you?